I don't even think I would have done no YouTube, no nothing if I ain't feel like you just you just spit it on my family. It's a verse in that uh it strictly been it, it ain't personal. He talk about your mom. And your mom got it twisted, she think home change. No nope, hope still here like road game. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you know you knew that, yeah. right? Ask your boy what he did to the whole game. I jeopardized the whole game. Yeah, he's and it's still like he's still kind of arrogance though. You still, but you you don't prove that. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. If you ever went somewhere, like if he came down there and you saw him face to face, what would you say or do? I don't know. It's, it'd be it'd be awkward. You know what I'm saying? Would I don't you want to have a conversation with him? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fight him. I know, you know that. So I'm like, hey, if. I don't know. Or would you just walk past him like you don't see him? Nah, he can't do that neither. Like, I don't know. You don't know yeah, what that, you'd that say. That would be the most awkward shit. Like, you know, and I think in his lifetime that he thinks that probably like that's the last thing that could ever happen. Okay, if, if that happened, he planned that shit. Hypothetically, <laughs> if Jay came and you and him were in the same setting, and he apologized and said, "Hey, man, everything we went through, man, that's is is it's a wash." What would you what would you what would you say? It's a wash, but you know we still that you know we we have to have that conversation. But it, and it ain't about money or none of that. Nah, stuff. it ain't about no money, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I do. You, you, nah, it, certain things is out of respect. It, like, it's out. Of, it, it ain't. It's bigger than money. Ain't you know it? what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a it's a ex explanation. It's like yo, if not me, my mom's my nigga. You ain't watch Marcy May. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If not me, if it's, if it's whatever with me, this lady took care of you, bro. This nigga, this lady was there. Hospital, bell, this, that. Your mom's ain't around. So if I don't care about me, like my earth, when you watch it, and I know the shit she done for you, for me, for the love, and she wasn't just like, it just for me, she loved you like a son, and you just like, ah, it's total, that, that hurt more than anything. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have, I don't even think I would have done no YouTube, no nothing, if I ain't feel like you just, you just shit it on my family. It's a verse in that, uh, it strictly been, it, it ain't personal, he talk about your mom. And your mom got it twisted, she think home change. Nope, hope still here like Rogaine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you know? You knew that, yeah. right? Ask your boy what he did to the whole game. I jeopardized the whole game. Yeah, he's, and it's still like he's still kind of arrogance, though. You still, but you you don't prove that, though. That's what not, did he say about him? I, 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 I gotta go to it. I gotta he go to it. He said something about your, uh, your mom said I changed. Uh, I didn't change. I'm still here like Rogaine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ask your boy what he did to the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. You, you didn't listen to the song. He, he said something like that, it. but he come back with he nasty. With those put you things. right back into he put it. Put me right back, but ask your boy what he did to the game. Like put all the blame back on. Yeah, him. you know what I'm saying. Like he, he, like yo, you know what I'm saying. He's he real nasty with them words, but like I said, it's about me being a hustler and compensate and, uh, and how to deal with that. I would love to see y'all sit down and have a discussion, though. Hold on, I'm gonna cut this out. You don't see a light. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Wait a minute. What the lock no. part? Like what the hell? Hey, what yo, is the lock? Is all your own nigga giving it up, <laughs> Andy? Like, yo, bro, why? Why are you doing this? Why you me? Why? The whole song is, is totally about every verse. And that's what I say the hurt coming at. Like, yo, bro, you you can shoot shots at me all day, bro, but it's like you ain't show my mama love, no love, bro. They said music is therapy, you, so. And then you try to say everybody locked up, but me though. But in reality, you, you the only one that's not <laughs> locked up, bro. Well, you, you flipped the whole narrative that quick, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, bro. When you heard it, what did oh, you when think? I heard that the, streets, one right there. the streets was on fire then. I'm like, oh shit. Oh shit, this nigga just reckless with the mouth. Like this nigga just got 
you know, and, and he just got reckless with the mouth. But as a businessman, I supposed to be able to be like, you didn't oh, think about he's that. You didn't me. think about he's that. Giving me the you didn't think about that. Right you now. didn't you think about that. Saying? Nah, because you know, you, you know, you in somewhere else. Your mind is not where it's supposed to be. How old you when that when that song came? How huh? what was your age back then? I don't then? know, bro. You were younger. <laughs> I'm trying to think what was I going through. How long through? ago did it come out? Nah, that's uh yes. uh best of both worlds. Best of I don't both know world. Yeah. That was but um it might have been ni- uh, 90. It's 90 some. Uh, I don't know. Or 2000. Look yeah, up the best of both worlds. Uh between it's him and R, him and uh, R Kelly. But that ain't nothing compared to the Black Republican with him and Nas. What did he say on the Black Republican? We was just, uh, uh, I was just, uh, that I was just the, uh, the son of her mother's friend. We had governing, who would have thought the love would end? Like ice cold album, all good things. Never- Back then, we used to hover over the oven. Back then, <laughs> you hear what he had said on the Black Republican? With really? Guys? <laughs> Yo, bro, he just goes on and on. Listen you, to him. 2002. 2002. See what I'm saying? I was just going to jail. I was just, I was in prison. Yeah, that came across the airways in the prison system. Wow. Oh, so that's where you heard it? Yeah, that's where I heard. I was locked up. I think I, Jay really loves you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yo, son. Not yeah. being real. Yeah. He said, I don't know if I need to hug you or slug you. Yeah. So it's like the option of even hugging you is like, you know, yeah. torn it's emotion. Down. Yeah. Because he wouldn't have even said hug. He would have been like, I just wanted this, this, man, this. Listen, bro. My boy that was supposed to come with me here, uh, he Q, man, he came with me here. He deciphered, he's a Jay Z, like, Therapy, like I don't know. When I first met him, he said he ra- Jay Z raised him, and he proved every bit of that to me. He He's told a, you everything about you. He told me everything about me. He said the only thing that was missing. By the time I met him, that was the only thing that was missing. He said everything else he knew about Jay. <laughs> he proved it to me. And when we sat down and did an interview, I felt like he already knew who I was before I sat there. You know what I'm saying? And I usually he carry was, him with me wherever I go because you know because he, he going to decipher. Verses, he deciphers everything. He hit he, he, I only gave you a few lists. This nigga got it up here. <laughs> he know. He know it. Oh, don't worry. The next ball saw him. We got to bring he, him on there. He nasty. I got to hear he this nigga break the real Because he going to tell you. Me and him been like this since, bro. He knew. Because I thought, for real, on a serious shit, I, I see a lot of people say they Jay-Z. Dudes no, this, this nigga that. really Jay-Z. When Jay-Z. I walked in the studio and shit, he seen, I seen Jay-Z on the wall. He said, yo, bro, that nigga raised me right there. Like He said, yo, that was like my pops. All his music was therapeutic. And this nigga get money, and he, he, he lived it. You know what I'm saying? And then when we sat what down... What was the talk, most explosive thing that he asked you and that he told you? You know what the most explosive know? thing he just told me? And we sit down, we kick it all the day, and that shit is the realest shit that I ever heard. He said how much he loved Jay. This is how much he loved Jay. He loved me to death, right? And I asked him this. I said, yo, if you sat down with Jay, and would you sit down with Jay and do him an interview? He said, nah. Cause I wouldn't want to hear, I wouldn't want to see him lie to me. Wow, that was the realest shit he said. I wouldn't want to see. I just couldn't wear bear the fact that he would lie to me, being that I know the truth about anything. He said I wouldn't want to do it. He said, but he knew you through Jay's music. That's Jay, how he Jay's knew you. Music, right. But then, okay. But he's seeing you through Jay's eyes by knowing you through his music. Yeah. So when he finally met you and was hearing all of your story. He, How did he feel about the differences? Oh man, he said it. That, that said it all when he said that. Like the fact that the matter, yo, I got so much love for that nigga. I just don't want to. I wouldn't want to see him lie to me, being that I know the truth. And all of these years, you know what I'm saying? It f- with people. But he's hearing your side of the story. I always say there's he three knew, sides yeah. to the story. Yeah, but he just hearing my side of the put in all the blanks of what he didn't know. Oh, okay. And, he, pre- and then he told me more about music that Jay, yo, this is this is how I felt about you when he said this. He got way more story breakdown than I got. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. And he opened your eyes to some of the stuff. he opened my eyes to a lot of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To a point like, yo, you know, even down to, he's a historian when it comes to this Jay shit. And mm. like I said, he was supposed to be here a minute, but his, that his weather, his flight got messed up too. Right. But he'll be part two, man. He's a good guy, man. Y- y'all would trip off of him. 
Because like, he going to go for verse for verse. He going to go into the breakdown on what Jay was thinking. He broke the code. That Jay book <laughs> says, uh, wow. the decoded. Oh, yeah, he broke that shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.